Yeah, we're fine. Like, if you can ask the sisters right here. Everybody needs to be out. <laughs> the lady, the lady, right? The lady, uh, yeah, she did. It's all right. 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 Now, so what we did, we're not going nowhere. We came right on the sidewalk because this sidewalk is public. This is all public right here. So at first we was in the grass, so now we right here. So even if she called the police, we on a public ground now. Look, and you know why the only people that got mad about what we were saying don't look like us? Huh. That is because the people that we're reading about in the Bible look like us. Matter of fact, I got a question from my sister in the purple. Who is this right here? Who is that? Huh? See? All right. So my sister right here, what's your name, sis? Carol. Carol? So Sister Carol, you said this right here is Jesus. My sister, what's your name? Patricia. Patricia? Patricia, who is this? Good. Come on up. We ain't going to bite y'all family. Y'all our family. We, that's why we come out here to the hood where we at. This is where we grew up. Who is this? This one right here. Okay, so in your church, this is what y'all got in your church. And this is, so, right? Now, who is that? Who is this then? Watch this. Watch this. Now, I read that. I asked y'all that question because the people that look like this just came outside yelling for us to move. Watch this. Watch this. Give me that in Revelations. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, mothers. Watch this. Yes. No, verse 1. We're going to read about who that is over there on the far side out of the Bible. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The word, it said the revelation of Jesus Christ in the book of Revelation. So the root word of Revelation, reveal. So we about to reveal Jesus Christ to you. Verse 14 now. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Wait a minute. <laughs> so, so, do he got white woolly hair? Do he got hair like wool? No. You do. You do, but, it, but look, look, look. Ain't nothing wrong with your hair neither. Ain't nothing, you know why ain't nothing wrong with your hair? Because your hair look like Christ's hair. That's right. Yeah. See, Christ, Christ had woolly hair. So all of us out here with the wool on our head, we got hair like Christ, though. So, but this guy, as y'all said, is in your churches. But this the same race that just came out and said for your people to move, and we're reading the Bible. So Christ got hair like our people, right? Watch this. Read on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So Christ's eyes, his first miracle was turning water into what? Into wine. Now, whenever we drink alcohol or wine, what color does the whites of our eyes turn? Red. Red. So that says that Christ's eyes were red with wine. Well, we're going to read that. Give me that in Genesis. Because it said his eyes was red like fire because they were red. Now, let's see if it was prophesied in the Bible that Christ would drink wine when he came on earth. Because they tell us in church, Christ ain't never drank. Yes, he did. He just never got drunk. It's not a sin to drink. It's a sin to get drunk. 
because why would he create red wine for everybody else in the sin and for everybody else at the at the wedding at the banquet to sin but he ain't gonna drink none so he made everybody else sin but not him he wouldn't do that so now let's read that there's the book of genesis chapter 49 verse 12 his eyes shall be red with wine that's talking about christ i just told you when, and this is in genesis but christ wasn't born until you read matthew so it was always prophesied in the Bible that Christ was going to come, even in Genesis. So now let's go back to Revelations now. So we went from the first book, now we back in the last book. Read that. The book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 15. Watch this, watch this. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now I can see your feet, the top of your feet. Same color as the rest of your body, right? What color is brass? You're right. Look, look, look. Is he brown? Is he brown? So is he who we reading about in the Bible? Or are we reading about somebody that looked like him in the Bible? We read about somebody that looked like him. But this is the one that's in your church. So that would mean, I'm going to finish that. I'm going to finish this out. And then I'm going to ask y'all some questions about it. All right. I just want y'all to understand this is why we come talk to our people. This is why we come talk to our people because no one teaches you the truth about God or Christ or yourselves. That's right. Because if I ask you what's your race, well, you've been here for a little bit. You going? You what's your race, my sister, right here? What's your race? Okay, you say Black American. Watch this. So his feet was like fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything, what color does it turn? So what color was price? Hmm. But it's, <laughs> no, no, no. If you burn anything, what color is it? So is this Christ? Is this Christ then, if he's supposed to be dark like you? There's nothing wrong with you. You're perfect. But then they'll tell you, no, no, that's not good enough. You need to look like these people. That's why our women get perms. That's why our women dye their hair blonde. That's why they put weave in their head that looks straight versus they got hair like Christ and God got woolly hair. But our people don't love themselves. Yes, you do got woolly hair. You didn't do, you ain't mess yours up. All praise. Because, yeah, that is how our Savior, that's how he was. He had her like wool. Now, when he was on the earth, because this right here is talking about when he come back. Absolutely. But when he was on earth, he still had woolly hair like us, like me, like him, like you. But then they put this one in your church on what day? What day you go to church? On what? Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday. But what day did the church, that, that Christ that we just read about in the Bible say go? What day did he go? Give me that in uh, Peter's, Peter's 122, I think it is, where it said we must follow the example of Christ. Second Peter's 122, I believe it is. Let me see. I ain't looked at, I ain't read it in a long time, but I, I, I want to get it for them because in your church, they got Follow this Christ in your church, but then uh, we think they're going to teach us the truth. If they already have an image, that's a lie. See what I'm saying? That's why we come to the streets to talk to our people, because in the Bible, we're supposed to be out here in the streets talking to you. Why don't the pastors come do this? I'm going to read the law. Luke 14, hold where you at. I'm going to read the law that, we're, that the pastors are supposed to come here to talk to you. That's right. That's right. I'm going to read it to you. It wasn't an option. We're not out here because we have an option to be out here. We go to different places all over Charleston every week. Every week we at a different spot. And that is because we are commanded to come talk to our people. Right. So why don't the pastors do it? If they got the same book, same commandment. But in the church, they have this image because they're lying. They're not the real pastors at all. Right. You're looking at them. Everything we're going to say, we're going to read it. You got it? Watch this right here. This is the book of Luke chapter 14, verse 23. And this is written in red. And there was something written in red who's talking in the Bible. If you read it and it's written, if it's written in red, who's talking? Christ. So now we're going to read what Christ said for the, po for the prophets to go do. Read. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highway and hedges and compel them to come in. He said, go out into the highways and hedges. Where we at? 
That ain't an option. That's not an option. So why don't your pastor come do it? He's not your real pastor. You just never been taught he was a liar. How y'all doing? Yeah, we're fine. Like, if you can ask the sisters right here. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Everybody needs to be out. The lady, the lady, right? The lady. Uh, yeah, she did. She did. <laughs> she did it. The one is. <laughs> I know. Bro. It's all right. 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 So let's read. So now it said that we're supposed to go out into the highways and hedges and compel y'all to come in, meaning come learn. Why don't pastors do what Christ said if they're the real pastor? Because they're not. I'm gonna show you. Give me Jeremiah three. You can drop the Luke. Jeremiah three and seventeen. I'm gonna show you that God said He would send you your real pastors, your real teachers. He would send them to you. Is that it? Three seventeen. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, 15. verse no, 15. 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So God's pastors will teach you knowledge and understanding. Y'all just found out that Christ don't look like this. Y'all been learning all your life that he looked like this, but you just learned in one go round that he looked like that. You knew. So why did you say this then? When I asked you who this is, you should have said, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I just started asking questions about it. I never seen, I know, I don't know if he's down. But why we don't never see him? Why he's not in the church? Because the church is that you go to. Our lives. How y'all doing, family? So the churches that you go to on Sunday are lies. I'm going to say it again. The churches that our people go to on Sunday are all lies. That's right. Yeah. And the pictures don't look like us. And that is in the Bible. Give me that in 1 Maccabees 3 and 48, I believe. Watch this. I'm going to show you in the Bible that white people got a hold to our Bible and put their images in it. They didn't change the words. Well, they did later on. They did later on, but in the King James, the King James was not a white dude. They'll tell you he was a white man. He was black like us. That's right. So now, let's see what happened as to why you read a Bible now with, 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 with white people images in it. Watch this, my sister. Watch this, Patricia. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this. Read that. This is the book of 1 Maccabees. Chapter 3, verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. So the heathen opened the book of the law, the Bible, and they put their images in it. Because our images was there. Right. That's what you're looking at on this right here. Matter of fact, you've heard of Leonardo da Vinci, right? That's who painted this. This was written, this was painted and drawn by him. These are whitewashed images. They whitewashed. That's why you see the little halo, because these were little froze on our people. They all this is all of this is wrong, so that way when you look at the books and look at images, you don't see yourself. Right. Our men and women don't see themselves. So that's why in the hood, like like how we all grow up in, they'll shoot and kill each other. We'll murder each other. Because I don't see Christ in my brother, I will kill him. That's why we'll sell drugs to each other. Why we don't, we shouldn't be selling drugs at all, but why don't black people go to white people neighborhood and sell drugs to them? You know. Why do they sell it to their own people and then say, I gotta make my money? But you gotta kill your people to do it. You telling me it's worth killing your people for you to come up? That is because our people love white people more than themselves. That's right. The safest person in the hood is a white man or a white woman. They can jog through here on a workout Nobody will touch them. Soon as me and you come outside, they might rob us. They might kill us. And they look just like us, but they won't do that with the white people. Why? It's because they look at them and see Jesus in them versus in themselves. That has destroyed us today. That has destroyed us today. So now I'm going to show you 
that what we was doing on Sunday, we shouldn't even have been in there on Sunday. We should be in there today. Today is the Sabbath day. Not Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. That's what white people gave us off in slavery. So now we do it as a tradition instead of fixing it. We just stayed there. No one's forcing you to go on Sunday no more. You're choosing to go now. And because you're choosing to go, there is a punishment if we don't fix it as a, as a race of people. You understand? All right? Let's read that. Let's read the knowledge. Because we said that we will feed you with knowledge, right? And wisdom. Let's see what God says the knowledge is. All praises. Read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So we should be keeping knowledge, right? Watch this. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So what should be coming out of my mouth? Huh? But what's the knowledge according to what we just read? Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So we should keep knowledge. So what should be coming out of our mouth is knowledge. But let's see what it is. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So what should be coming out of our mouth? The law. So if we're not teaching God's laws, that's not the priest. That's not who God sent for you. That's who Satan sent for you. That's right. Because y'all go to church on Sunday and no one ever told you that's wrong. That means y'all are sitting in there amongst Satan's pastors. Because the law of the Sabbath day is still today. Let's read that in uh let's let's read it. Uh yeah, read on. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Because that priest is the messenger of God. That one that's teaching what God says is the messenger of God. Is it Luke 4 where Christ went into the synagogue to stand up to read? Or is it Luke 2? 4.16. 4.16. That's what I thought. Y'all can come up. I ain't going to bother y'all. <laughs> y'all my, my mothers. Come on. Uh-huh. The 12 disciples. The 12, so the 12 tribes right here, right? The, these are the 12 tribes. Now the disciples, they were Jews. They were primary, they were from Judah, Benjamin, Levi. So these right here are all the names that God called us. If I ask you, cause you said your race was what again? When you walked up? Oh, black American. Black American. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Are you older than 39? I'll do it that way. I'm 39. Now, I'm older than the term American, African American. So what is my race? What's my race? If I'm older than that before it was ever created. Because black is a color. That's the color of my pants. You are not black. That's not a race. I can't go to the land of black. An American, that's a citizen of here. But that doesn't mean that's where your lineage is from, where you descend from. That just means your citizenship. So what is your race? Huh? African-American. My question to you, my sister, are you older than 39? Okay, you're 65. All praise to the Most High. So you're 65, so you're well over 30, 38 years older than the term African-American. So your race is not African-American at all. Come look. I'm about to show you. No, not black Hebrew. No, no, no. Many people are Hebrew. Hebrew is a language. But everybody ain't an Israelite. You're from the tribe of Judah. I got it. I'm going to go slow. So you are from the tribe of Judah. Watch this. Hebrews 7, 14. Let's see who else was from the tribe of Judah. Because I'm looking at a so-called black woman, right? And I say so-called because we say we're black because we brown-skinned, melanated people. So I'll stick with that for now. But you are from the tribe of Judah. So you are. But I'm looking at so-called black women right here, right? So if Christ was from the same tribe and y'all are from the same tribe, what color would he have to be if y'all are so-called black people? We just read his description, but now let's just, let's just use common sense. If we're the Jews and Christ was a Jew, how could he look different than us? He's supposed to look like us then, just like your sons and daughters look like you. Watch this. Read. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who's our Lord and Savior? Who is our Lord and Savior? Christ. Jesus Christ. But it said he came out of the tribe of what though? Judah. So y'all got the bloodline that Christ got and y'all standing here and don't know that? 
that y'all are that special. You don't know that. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Nah, you know but yeah, yeah, no, I'm I know. To get smart. No, I got you. No, but that, like that, is, that, that is that is that is because they don't about. teach us. Exactly. They don't exactly. teach us. How come we never knew none of us until now? You know why? It's because you go to church, right? You still go to church. We had parents, so don't blame us. No, 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 no. We had parents. You go to church. Right. All right. So now, watch this. Watch this. So we are what we've done now. Give me that in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter twenty-nine, thirteen. Was it twenty-seven, thirteen? Last verse. So now, watch this. So our people, we don't ask questions. We don't. We just go what people tell us and go with it. I know that is because we took someone's word for it and never said, why do I do what I do? But don't kids do that? Don't kids say, mama, why do I got to do this? Why, why, why? And you know what we tell them? Leave me alone. You know why? It's because we don't have the answers. But what if we did that? And then we did not shut our kids down. Or what if we did that and we weren't shut down? Now we ask why and we have to be given an answer. But your pastor don't allow you to ask him questions. And you know what? You take it and never ask him why. You never ask him why because you've been taught to stay like this in the mind. Slaves. Because slaves don't question anything. This is where we, over 50% of our people came through Charleston. That's in America. That's in America, over 50% of black people came through here, this city where we at. And we've been taught to keep this mindset that we're slaves. Don't question anything, just go along to get along. Don't say nothing, hold your head down. That's what we were taught. When white people come by the sidewalk, you move. Hold your head down, don't look at them. Our people still do that today, don't they? You actually find you, you find yourself sometimes still doing it, don't you? Mm. Think about it. Be smart. Look, 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 watch. I don't be putting my head down. I see no white people now. Watch, 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 watch. Watch, listen, listen. Listen, listen. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that we do. Well, look, you can just absorb what you can. So, look, I'm going to show you that you do. I'm going to show you that we do as a people put our head down when white people show up. Because when y'all first walked up, y'all said this was Jesus. That is why you put your head down. Because you humbled in front of who you thought Jesus was. You humbled in front of who you thought was the ones that was who you should be worshiping. Literally, that's what you was doing subconsciously. So now, what we finna read is why our people just now finding this out. Is that what I want where they got the zeal? But it's not of God. 29, 13. Okay, 29. Okay, what did I say first? 27. I said, I said 27. My bad. All oh, praise. Rock with me. Rock with me. Here we go. Watch this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 13. Bring it up. Wherefore, the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. So we talk a good game. Lord, I love you. We draw close to God with our mouths. That's what we say. But God don't care nothing about what we say. Watch this. Read on. And with their lips do honor me. Lord, I love you. I have a connection with you. You have a connection with me. Praise you, Lord. That's what we do with our mouths. Read on. But have removed their heart far from me. But our minds are removed from God. We don't know him. So how do we worship him properly if we don't know him? You can't. So that's why when she said, why are we just now hearing this now? It's because now you have the real pastors standing in front of you willing to teach you. Willing to come right where you live. Where the pastor won't come where you live. We ain't ask nobody. Ain't no bucket up here for money. We don't want your money. We want you to repent. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time.
Christ. <laughs>